when will this disruption end? I urge you to refuse this application because of the potential impact on our local community, the safety of our children and our religious future. And today, you are at the centre stage in that drama. We're discussing a single application here. But let's not be fooled for one minute. This is the thin end of a potentially very long and damaging wedge to try and understand the impact that fracking could have on our community. The one thing that you can be sure of is that potential visitors will vote for their feet with the first hint of any negative effects or potential threats from fracking. against a risk so great to your air and water. I don't think any of us would have assumed A, that that would be in us to need to do that, or B, that our government would have made it possible that this risk comes to our communities. You know, this is not something that we take lightly, and yet the government is the cheerleader for it. We've all had the time to, to research it and to examine it by, this is a risk to our children, this is a risk to our future. So why does our government not see that? And so what we stand here to do is to get a voice in our democracy. And look, because we know we're heard, we know we're heard in the right places, maybe not in there, but we're heard by the investors who say, UK public shale gas opposition deters investors. So yay us, we did that. Tomorrow, across, across the world, everyone is gonna raise a glass and toast. The UK, five years, frack free. Let's not forget that either, but it hasn't happened. Look, when we started out with just three groups in 2011, and we were told by Quadrilla and IGAS and the others, you will be in full production by 2013. And now it's 2016 and there's nothing. And they keep telling us, you, you, there's no way you can stop us. Well, I'm sorry, it's 2016. We did stop you. Yeah. You are working. Yeah. And I think, I think also they live in the past. They think there's some rift between the North and the South, or some rift between Yorkshire and Lancashire, not realising that we are more united than we are separated, and we're united by our fight for this. And you'll come all the way here today, people who come up from the South, from Scotland, from across the Lancashire, just to say, we stand here in solidarity, to say you will not crack Yorkshire, you will not crack Lancashire, and you won't crack anywhere in the UK. Yeah. 